In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade Cisco 3650 iOS XC 3.7 core to 16.12. But you can move to 17.0, which is the latest code, but the process will be pretty much same. Cisco 3650 is still an expensive switch, so I cannot have the switch in my lab, but I normally do this kind of code upgrade in my work regularly. So I have put these steps clearly here, so you can follow these steps to upgrade your Cisco 3650 code. Normally people will have a sandbox network to do this kind of code upgrade. This is also a kind of sandbox network. Normally sandbox networks are not routed in their core network. It is going to be only layer two. So you need to put these commands. Let me explain to you what these commands are. Configure terminal, host name, you need to have a host name and IP default gateway. In this case, this is going to be your TFTP server and uh, no setup express, VTP mode transparent, spanning tree, rapid PBST, and uh, increase the block size so you can increase the transfer rate. And then you need to configure an IP for VLAN 1. So these two IPs is going to be under the same subnet and do a no shutdown and write mem. And all your port will be in VLAN 1 by default. So you don't have to change any port to VLAN 1. So this way your switch will have a direct connectivity with your TFTP server over layer two and you can verify that in step three, just pinging your TFTP server where you will have all your images. And step four, you have to enter these commands, software clean force, it will remove unwanted file in your flash drive. And then you will put this command without force new. This will download the code and install the code on your switch. But if this fails, you can include the force new in your next round so it won't fail on you. For me, it failed, so I had to use force new, and this will be the output. You will see here it bypassed the compatibility check and deleted the older code and installed the new code into the switch and booted up into the new code. And then if you are adding this switch as a second switch, you need to change the switch number and you need to change the priority number also because switch one will be highest priority and this will be a standby and then change the MTU size. This will increase the throughput of your switch and now you can reload the switch. If you see here, I put this need a reboot, but you don't have to do a reboot multiple times because it takes so much time for a switch to reboot. You can combine multiple steps and reboot at once to make all these changes to take effect. And now you have to generate a crypto key. When you create a crypto key, it normally asks a domain name. If you don't have a domain name already entered into your configuration, you may want to put your domain name and then create a crypto key because without a crypto key, you cannot SSH into the switch. And now you can do a software cleanup at the end. You can do a request platform software package clean, switch all file flash. So it will clean unwanted file from all the flashes. And in step 10, you need to change the SDM. Make sure you change the SDM to advanced template to take advantage of all the features in the switch. The important thing here is the SDM has to match all of the switches in your environment, especially to the stack you are adding this switch. In step 11, verify the MTU size and VTP status. Normally VTP is transparent, but if you are using a VTP domain to synchronize your VLAN, make sure your VTP domain matches in this new configuration. That's all you have to do. Make sure at the end, just go through the configuration, just putting show run and make sure everything looks good before you hand over your switch to your field technician or if you are going in person, make sure you have everything configured properly before you go to on site. That's all for this video, guys. If you have any question or comments, put down in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so you will get notified when I release my next video. 
Also, don't forget to like the video. All right? I will see you in the next video. Bye.